My name is Nadia Drost. I'm a reporter based in Bogota, Colombia, where I've been living for the past three years. Recently, I've been reporting on Colombia's gold mining boom. Gold has been a very important part of Colombia's history ever since before the Spanish conquistadores. Recently, because of skyrocketing international gold prices, gold fever has been sweeping across Colombia and a torrent of Colombian and international mining companies are sweeping across the country. In fact, since 2002, the Colombian government has handed out over 8,000 mining titles. But many of those titles overlap areas where traditional miners have been working for generations, if not centuries sometimes. That's the case of La Toma, which is an Afro-Colombian community in the southwest of the country. Their ancestors were brought here as slaves to mine gold for the Spanish crown. They've been mining gold ever since, but now they find that they're living amidst a patchwork of mining titles which have been granted to Colombian and international mining outfits. They feel that their livelihood is under threat, and as a result, they've been putting up a steadfast resistance against any outside mining on their territory. But it appears that that resistance is coming at a very steep price. Many community leaders have been receiving death threats, and there's been a rash of assassinations of local miners. I went to La Toma with the support of the Pulitzer Center on Crisis Reporting because it's ground zero in the battle over land in which gold is buried. It's a new front line in Colombia's conflict.